Hey guys, welcome back to Little Lady Please. Today I have a book for you. It's called The Magic Home. Now, as you could tell by the title, a displaced boy finds a way to feel better. So, you know, especially right now, we're in the middle of uncertain times, and I thought, what better book than to start off with this? And overall, it, it is a cute book. It's about a boy, um, and it kind of goes through... As you can see, you have the words on one side and you have the story on the other. You know, he has a family. He's very happy. Everything's going really well for him. He wants to go to school, but okay, it's not in his, you know, uh, future. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, his mother and this boy pack up and go. Now, that leads me to the first red flag. Like, no offense to this boy or anything, but why aren't his siblings coming? But okay, fine. So he packs up and go, leaves this wonderful family life, no questions asked, no nothing, and now he's on his own with his mom. And he's really, you know, unsure of what to do. So, again, that's the first thing I really just want to warn you about. I like the idea of a displaced child and hearing his side, but I felt that was a little bit much. So just err on the side of caution. Know who you're reading this to because, again, okay. Then anyway, he goes, and of course, any child who is basically uprooted is left with feelings of uncertainty, and those can lead to physical issues, as you could see here. I don't want to eat, you know, I'm nervous, and it's hard, and for this boy, which this is the part that I like, many children go through these feelings. Now, the question is, what do you do with these feelings, and I ask children this all the time. You're feeling blank. What are you going to do with it? And that's where this book gets really amazing and basically goes on this journey of how, you know what, you're here today, but think of the positive past. And he drew pictures of where he was in his past, his memories from his old home, his memories from with his grandmother, his siblings. And you know what? You can't change what happened in life you just can't and by giving children the ability to hold on to what they have to hold on to what they love and to hold on to what they can that's magical so overall i think this is a cute book but like i said there were some issues in terms of how he had this trauma happen to him in my opinion so what i'm going to do for you is like this i love the ending and I love how, you know, this positive outlook. So here's what we're going to do together. In the description box, I'm going to leave a link to this book. Go see other comments more about the story. And if this is the angle that you need for your students, whether it's in a classroom, whether it's in therapy, by all means, check it out. Because you know what? Like I said, this is a very uncertain time. A lot of kids, unfortunately, are dealing with trauma. And I think the magic home, the ability to hold on to what you can, what's special in your life, it's magical. It really is magical. We can all look at the negative and create a negative mindset. Or we could say, you know what? Stop right here. Let's focus on the positive and let's create a brighter future. And I think this book definitely can open up a door and can get the kids thinking, what do I have today? How can I deal with my negative feelings in an appropriate way? And how can I change for tomorrow by focusing on my positive and bringing my own positive memories? So let me know what you think of this book. Again, it's The Magic Home. And don't forget to like and subscribe because I have a lot more books coming your way. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you have a child who is struggling and needs a way to feel better. Happy playing.